Hello, dear traders. Welcome to Insta TV. You're watching Financial News with me, Anna Kasatkina. Donald Trump's press conference disappointed market participants over the lack of stimulus plan. The president-elect announced that he is ready to establish relations with Russia, but didn't make any comments on the U.S. economy. As a result, the U.S. dollar lost ground during the Asian session on Thursday. Yesterday, the U.S. dollar-yen currency pair failed to reach 117 points, and today the pair fell by 0.79% to 114.47. Still, analysts expect the U.S. dollar to go up against the Japanese yen after several Fed officials give their speeches today. Experts believe that the Federal Open Market Committee will remind the market about their plans to raise funds rate three times in 2017. Meanwhile, Japan released mixed data on its current account. Thus, according to official data, Japan's current account balance rose to an unadjusted 1,415,000,000 yen in November, while analysts had predicted an increase to 1.5 trillion yen. However, real Japan's current account showed a surplus of seasonally adjusted 1.8 billion yen in November, which exceeded market expectations. At the same time, investors started to worry about Mr. Trump's rise to power. Especially it bothered supporters of the U.S.-Chinese relations amid Rex Tillerson's confirmation hearing for Secretary of State. During his speech, Tillerson made aggressive comments about China. Traders consider it as a major sign of a possible trade war between the U.S. and China. Janet Yellen, chair of the U.S. Federal Reserve System, is quite uptight about Trump, too. She called him a risk to the stability of the U.S. economy. If the Fed chair once again expressed uncertainty about the U.S. economy in her speech scheduled at the end of this week, the U.S. dollar will continue to pull back against its major counterparts. This was Daily Financial News on Insta TV. Thank you and goodbye.